Why are so many people packing their bags and saying goodbye to the UK? This question has been popping up quite a bit lately. The fascinating exodus isn't happening without solid reasons, and this video will into each one. Every single aspect carries its unique implications, pushing many to seek more favorable conditions elsewhere. From the heavy burden of taxes to the relentless downpours, we'll scrutinize each of these issues, providing an in-depth understanding of what's driving this trend. A complex issue, and by the end of this video, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of the situation. Let's delve deeper into each reason, starting with high taxation. First up on the list is high taxation. Now let's take a moment to unwrap the UK's tax system. It's a complex beast but in simple terms it's a progressive system where the more you earn, the more you pay. This might seem fair to some but for many it's a heavy burden. Consider an average worker in the UK. Not only do they have to pay income tax which can be as high as 45% for top earners, but they also face national insurance contributions, council tax, and don't forget value-added tax on purchases. It's not just about the tax rates though, it's about how they're applied. The UK tax code is notoriously complicated, and navigating it can feel like wandering through a maze. So, what does this mean for the average citizen? Well, it can often feel like a large chunk of their hard-earned money is disappearing before they even see it. This high taxation leaves less for savings, for leisure, for life. It's a financial strain that can make people feel like they're constantly playing catch-up, never quite able to get ahead. And it's not just individuals feeling the pinch. Businesses, particularly small ones, can struggle under the weight of corporation tax, business rates, and other levies. It's a tough environment to thrive in, and for some, the grass starts to look greener elsewhere. With such high taxes, it's no wonder people are considering other options. Next, we tackle the issue of the high crime rate. A surge in crime rates can be a significant deterrent for anyone considering making a home in a country, and unfortunately, the UK has seen an unsettling rise in crime over recent years. The Metropolitan Police alone reported over 700,000 cases of crime in the year 2023. That's not just a statistic. It's a reflection of countless individuals whose lives have been affected, their sense of safety shattered. But it's not just about the numbers, it's about the impact. Imagine walking home late at night constantly looking over your shoulder or worrying about your children every time they step out the door. That's not what anyone would call a high quality of life. The rise in crime rates has been attributed to a variety of factors, from increased poverty levels to cuts in public services, but regardless of the reasons, the result is the same. People are feeling unsafe. It's an issue that affects everyone, from the bustling metropolis of London to the serene countryside villages. It's important to note that not all areas of the UK are plagued by high crime rates, and many people still live safe and comfortable lives. However, the perception of crime can be just as powerful as the reality, and the rising crime rates are certainly contributing to the increasing number of people choosing to leave the UK. Safety is a basic need and a high crime rate can certainly drive people away. Moving on to the third reason, excessive legislation. You see, for some, the UK's legal system can feel like a labyrinth of rules and regulations. These laws, while designed to maintain order and protect citizens, can often be seen as restrictive and burdensome. Imagine owning a small business for instance, navigating the sea of regulations from health and safety to employment law can be overwhelming. It's not just about knowing the laws, it's about understanding how they apply to your situation, making necessary adjustments, and staying up to date with any changes. It's a constant juggling act that can consume time and resources. Or consider the everyday citizen, who might feel stifled by laws that dictate everything from where you can park your car to how you can renovate your own home. These rules, though well-intentioned, can sometimes feel intrusive and controlling. Furthermore, the complexity and sheer volume of these laws can lead to confusion and misinterpretation. This can result in penalties, fines, or even legal action, adding another layer of stress and concern. People seeking a more relaxed environment might find the UK's extensive legislative system daunting and unwelcoming. They may opt to move to countries with simpler, more straightforward legal systems where they can live with less legislative pressure. In the end, the freedom to live one's life without feeling constantly hemmed in by rules and regulations is a powerful motivator. The weight of excessive legislation can be a heavy burden to bear. Our fourth point of discussion is mass uncontrolled immigration. The influx of people into the UK from all corners of the globe is an undeniable reality. Some view this as a positive, bringing a rich diversity and fresh perspectives. 
However, the sheer scale and speed of this immigration have raised concerns among others. Mass uncontrolled immigration can put a significant strain on the economy. It's like adding more passengers to a boat without increasing its size or resources. The boat begins to feel crowded, resources are stretched thin, and maintaining balance becomes a challenge. This is the situation the UK finds itself in, with public services such as healthcare, education and housing feeling the pressure. The social cohesion of the UK is also being tested. When people from different cultures and backgrounds come together, it can lead to a vibrant, diverse society. But when the rate of change is too rapid, it can also lead to tension and division. Communities may feel their identity is threatened, and social bonds can fray. Furthermore, mass immigration can lead to job competition, potentially driving down wages and leading to job insecurity for some. This can exacerbate economic inequality and contribute to social unrest. With such drastic changes to the fabric of society, it's understandable why some may choose to leave. Fifth on our list is something everyone talks about, bad weather. Now, it's no secret that the UK is notorious for its grey skies and frequent rain. Whether it's a drizzle or a downpour, the rain is a constant companion to those living in the UK. This temperamental weather can be quite a damper, literally and metaphorically, on everyday life. Not only does it limit outdoor activities, but it also affects the mood. Scientific studies have shown a correlation between lack of sunlight and feelings of depression. Known as Seasonal Affective Disorder or SAD, this condition is quite prevalent in regions with limited sunlight, like the UK. Furthermore, the chilly damp weather can exacerbate health issues, particularly those related to the respiratory system. For those suffering from conditions like arthritis, the cold, damp climate can cause increased discomfort. Then there's the limited daylight hours during winter months, which can throw your body's internal clock out of sync, leading to fatigue and low energy levels. Another dimension to this is the lack of vitamin D, a crucial nutrient that our body typically gets from sunlight. With limited sunshine, residents of the UK are at a higher risk of vitamin D deficiency, leading to a host of health problems. So, it's not just a matter of forgetting your umbrella or battling frizzy hair. The weather in the UK can have tangible impacts on one's health and well-being. It seems the lack of sunshine is casting a shadow over life in the UK. Lastly, we address the high cost of living. The cost of living in the UK, particularly in urban areas, is a significant deterrent for many. It's not just about the exorbitant rent or mortgage payments, it's the food, the transportation, the utilities, the childcare, the education costs, the list goes on. Consider housing, for instance. It's no secret that housing prices in the UK have skyrocketed over the years, particularly in cities like London. For many, the dream of owning a home seems more like a pipe dream, and even renting can be financially burdensome. Then there's the cost of food. Yes, we all need to eat, but when the price of a simple grocery haul leaves a significant dent in your wallet, it's a clear sign that something's amiss. And let's not forget about other necessities such as utilities, which are also on the rise. Childcare is another significant expense for families, and for those seeking higher education, the cost can be prohibitive. It's not just about being able to afford these things, it's about being able to live comfortably without constantly worrying about finances. But for many in the UK, this simply isn't the reality. The cost of living has become increasingly unmanageable, leaving many to question whether the benefits of living in the UK outweigh the costs. When life becomes too expensive, it's only natural to seek greener pastures. In summary, it seems there are quite a few compelling reasons why people are leaving the UK. We've delved into six key factors, each painting a part of the bigger picture. High taxation, a burden to many, coupled with an escalating crime rate, can make for an unsettling environment. Excessive legislation, while necessary to some degree, can often feel overbearing and restrictive. The issue of mass uncontrolled immigration, a complex and multifaceted topic, has also surfaced as a concern for some UK residents. And who could forget the infamous UK weather, often seen as less than desirable, especially when compared to sunnier destinations. Lastly, the high cost of living, particularly in major cities, can be a significant deterrent, making other countries appear more financially appealing. While the UK has much to offer, these issues are causing some to reconsider their home base. What do you think? Do the positives outweigh the negatives or would you consider leaving the UK as well?